Hi everyone, let's discuss about weekly contest number 51. Second question, compare string by frequency of the smallest character. So, um, frequency of smallest character determine uh, value of a string. So, for example here, uh, Z, A, A, Z, the smallest character is A with the frequency of 3. So, the value of this string is 3. And C, B, D, the smallest character is B with the frequency of 1. So, the value of this string is 1. Right. And so we've been asked to query like um, from the list of word, how many word that have the value uh, more than this one. So CBD the value is one because this, and ZAAZ have the value of three. So this word value is more than this word. So yeah, when we query CBD, how many word in the words array have value more than CBD? The answer is one. And see the second example. So we have triple B here, value of three, double C, value of two, and here the value is one, two, three, and four, right? So we query BBB, how many value in the words have more than three, which is only one of them. So we written one. And next we have CC, which have the value of two. So there are two words have value more than two which is these two. So we return one and two in that case. So yeah, um, to do this in a like a normal way, like um, linear way, we, we, we do it by we checking it through like one by one, right? And then we found out like um, we do an end loop each time of the query to determine what is the value of each of them, right? So in that case, then yeah, it will require O N, but we gonna do a binary search so it's more efficient. Like, um, what is the value of this one and the, the last one, and we take the mid one. So yeah, we going to perform binary search so we can do it better than uh, O N complexity for each of the query. Yeah, so let's see how we can do that. Um, yeah, so first we going to sort the word. Right. We're going to sort all of the word, word list by the value. So what is get value? Get value is a method to determine a frequency, a frequency of the lowest character in that string. So we mark the lowest character and what is the frequency. And when we found a character that is lower than our lowest character currently, we mark our current character to be lowest character and reset the frequency to 1. But if we find a character that is same as our lowest character, then we increase the frequency and we return the frequency. Um, one optimization we can do here is if we already computed that string before, then we can catch it and then we can return it every time. So we don't need to do this loop again and again. And yeah, that's it for the get value step. And we sort it based on the get value. And after that, for the output, I create the output array of queries and then yeah I just do the query for each of them so um, we will end up on the index that is um, more than current character uh, more than current the index the first the starting index of the string that have value more than our character Okay, so yeah, um, find the words that have, to have value more than our query value. There's the find. And then we minus the word length that will we will have our total word. Like, um, let's say we find it here. So index of two out of four, out of four, the length of four, and we find our index here. So four minus two is two. So we will have two in that case of C like we end up the index here or if we end up the index here then that means it's one right but if we end up the index here then it means it's zero like the length minus the total length uh, tot the length minus the four Z zero one two three four so four is same with the length so yeah you will have a zero number of four in that case so let's look at the find method. So it's a binary search method 
with a low and high frequency so you get the mid value and make sure like um, the value of that word in the middle is larger than the bottom limit then that means um, our starting point is at least on the mid right but if that value is less than or equals to which means that will be that will not be our starting point so we increase the low by mid plus one because the mid itself is already not valid so we do a mid plus one so yeah the corner case here is if the low is already equals to high it doesn't guarantee that we already found our starting point right so if low is already equals to high and the value is still not valid which means um, it's not our last index probably so yeah we return the word length which will cause um, this minus to become zero or otherwise we return our low index right and that's how you are going to do this um, query there so yeah what else so yeah i think that's all of it so thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest